Today I'm going to review The Gene, An Intimate History by Siddhartha Mukherjee. So this book is the second book from Siddhartha Mukherjee, or maybe it's his third book. It's his second really big book. His first book was uh, The Emperor of All Maladies, the book about cancer. It's a biography of cancer. I think it's what the subtitle is. I already reviewed that book. It's really good. Uh, this book is also really good. I didn't think it had quite the same emotional impact, but it's just as fascinating of a read as his first book. So a really good uh, follow-up book to that first book. I think this book really solidifies just how great of a writer Siddhartha Mukherjee is. Both his books were just written so well. They're very technical and they cover a lot of information and it, it's not a, a clear, there's not a clear storyline through the information, but he creates one and he tells the story really well in both books. Uh, the Gene's definitely not an exception to that. So really, I just came away from this thinking that Siddhartha Mukherjee is just one of the top writers in the nonfiction space. And I, I hope he keeps writing books because I'm definitely going to keep reading everything he writes because... I mean, both his books have been long, they've been in-depth, and they've just been really pleasurable books to read. Uh, and I like this book even more now. So this is the second time I read The Gene. I read it, uh, I think, a couple years ago for the first time, right after I read The Emperor of All Maladies. And I appreciate The Gene more now because I recently read another book that talked a lot about the same material, and that is... She Has Her Mother's Laugh by Carl Zimmer. And I reviewed this book too. I don't think this book is as good as The Gene. It's kind of winding and it doesn't really stay on topic that much. It's kind of hard to follow his narrative. And it ended up being a good book. But what was so impressive about The Gene was he covers most of that information. Maybe not all of it, but he covers a lot of it. Uh, but the narrative he, he writes and, and the way he keeps your attention is just so much better and it just shows how much more skill he has as a writer, especially on this topic. Because since Siddhartha Mukherjee was a doctor, he has a, a really good understanding of the science. So I think he can kind of navigate all the, the issues in a way that really makes sense. The way that maybe someone like Carl Zimmer, who I don't think he has, a, he's not a doctor, uh, he's going to have a harder time. So this book, The Gene, really a great at, at creating a, a cohesive story through a very complex topic. I don't think this book would be the best book if you're looking to get like a modern understanding of where genetics is at today. The vast majority of this book is talking about the past and the history of genetics. And honestly, I think the history of genetics is a much more interesting story than where genetics is at today. Because today, our understanding of how humans work and, and what makes them do what they do is so complicated. And there's so many things going into it. From like the neuroscience of how the brain works to epigenetics. And the genes and your DNA has a huge role but the modern story is so much more complex and has so much more things going on that I think if, you, if you're interested in kind of the modern view, you're a lot better off by looking at a book like Behave by Robert Sapolsky, which doesn't say, it's, a, it's not a genetics book, but it's talking about why humans do what they do. And genetics is a big part of that. And so I think that book will give you a much better understanding of kind of where genetics fits in with all the other topics and, and making people do what they do and how they why they are the way they are. Uh, the gene is really, it's about the history. And it's not even just about the science. I really feel like this book was more about the intersection of the history of the science, like the people's lives who were living through these times and how they're dealing with uh, genetic diseases and, and mutations and things like that. And then just the possibilities that have been unlocked by genetics and how humans have dealt with that and what are the, the possibilities, good and bad, f with the science. And really the book just creates a narrative 
with the intersection of all those different topics together. And so it's, it's a really interesting book, but I don't know if you're going to learn that much. Uh, maybe if you're new to genetics, uh, you might learn a lot, but at least the science that he does cover, it's not that in-depth. I, I mean, he covers a lot, but but so much of the book is just focused on the history, so uh, he doesn't really spend that much time giving you a, like a good understanding of the science as a whole. It's kind of you're following the story of the, how the science evolved over time, which it's really, again, it's really interesting. I really enjoyed it, but it's not, the book isn't written to, to give you an understanding of the science. I think if you're just trying to explain the science, there's a much more straightforward way to approach the topic. But this book is a great, it's a great story of the history of genetics and what it's meant for people and where it might go in the future. I definitely would recommend this book. I really enjoyed this book. Um, I've read it twice now. I enjoyed it the second time as much as I did the first time, maybe even more this time because I've read other books on the topic so I can appreciate how good he he is at writing on this topic now. Um, so if you're interested in genetics or the history of genetics, uh, this is definitely the book to read, The Gene. I mean, this is, for me, the number one on the topic of the history of genetic science, though. I mean, there's only a couple of books in that space, so that might not be saying that much. Um, so if you are interested in the book, uh, yeah, absolutely pick it up and give it a read. Uh, you will not regret reading that book, or you won't regret reading his first book either. Uh, if you're not satisfied with The Gene, then maybe you could give... Uh, she has her mother's laugh a read. So I think if you read them both, you'll really like the gene more. At least I did. Uh, so I hope you like this video. I've got more reviews coming soon. So uh, like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.